Jesus. So you've Jesus. talked to some of the guys and they I actually have, told you? Yeah. yeah, they told me. You yeah, what? <clears throat> that they're behind schedule, like 45 days behind schedule, which over the next year could become 90 days, you know. But they said, you know, if you have a high wind day, they can't use those cranes. <clears throat> so how often do we get a high wind day in Las Vegas? Pretty often. All the, yeah, all the time. So, have you been watching the news about the stadium? I just read the, I, on the internet, I catch once in a while, they'll have a blurb saying, oh yeah, we're right on schedule, 50% done. And uh, the workers told you what? The workers, <laughs> the workers have been saying that they're like 45 to 60 days behind schedule. 45 to 60 days behind schedule. And the review journal just came out, I just saw a thing a couple of days ago that said, on YouTube, I'll tell you what it said. A couple of days ago, I just saw something on YouTube that said, Rick Velado was down there and said, oh, we are perfectly 100% on schedule. Now, I've talked to workers. This Uber driver's talked to workers. Everyone seems to say that it's between, I didn't even know it was 45 to 60 days. I always thought it was 11 days. So, they're lying about the delay, but the biggest concern right now is they're lying about the safety of that worker stadium. So, it, this is just further evidence. Hey, Uber driver, I can't see your face. I'm not going to use your name. Can I use what you said on my channel? Yes, that was a yes. Thank you so much.